Hi everyone, so today I'll be discussing the Mara Bradwell versus State of Illinois case, which was one of the very first women's rights cases that occurred in 1873. So Mara Bradwell was a married woman and she was training to practice law under the Illinois bar under the protection of her husband. And even though she passed the bar, uh, the, her application was denied because she was a married woman. She then proceeded to file a lawsuit against the Illinois bar, stating that they went against her 14th Amendment Immunities Clause rights, which says, and I quote, no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of the citizens. And I found this on page 15 of the Constitutional and Legal Rights of Women textbook. According to the Cornell Law School, the Immunities Clause only protects fundamental um, or natural rights of citizens and prevents the state from discriminating against out-of-state citizens. And because this only protects federal rights, if one would want to obtain a job or even practice law under the state, that would be considered more of a state right. Bradwell's argument was that the state was obviously preventing her from practicing law and also they discriminated against her because she was a married woman. The Supreme Court had reaffirmed the Immunities Clause only protects federal rights and stated that the right to admission to practice in the courts of the state is not one of them. This right in no sense depends on citizenship of the United States and I found that on page 16 of our textbook. They also made another claim saying that women and men's life destinies are totally different. Naturally, a man is supposed to be a woman's protector, and a woman is supposed to, by the divine law, stay at home, be the mother of her kids, and do cooking and the cleaning. And it was frowned upon for women to have an independent career separate from their husbands. In fact, women were not even allowed to sign contracts or make decisions on their own without their husbands being there. And I found this on page 17 of our textbook. In the end, um, the Supreme Court went against Bradwell's case, and according to Oyes.com, they said that even though there are some states or some uh, privileges and rights that the states permit, the right to practice law is not one of them. Um, I disagreed with this decision because I felt the Supreme Court was blatantly using sexism and discrimination in their opinion. And the fact that they said a woman's job is to just be at home and do the cooking and the cleaning and taking care of the kids was just disturbing to me because that's not all what women can do. And this kind of gender stereotyping has been going on for ages and is still relevant today, whether it's in the workplace, at home, or you know, in society in general. And women have always been referred to as weak, too sensitive, or even stupid. But we are the exact opposite. We are confident, beautiful, intelligent, and powerful. We can be independent and have our own life. In fact, I feel maybe some men might feel intimidated when, when, when women work because they are strong-willed, smart, and hardworking. Women like Hillary Clinton, for example, who was confident, intelligent, and powerful, was called names such as robot or a nasty woman just because she was assertive and knew what she wanted in life, which was to be the first woman president of the United States. Even Justice Ginsburg herself had to face oppression from her male colleagues because she was strong-minded and maybe had some opinions that were a little different from theirs. But she still prevailed and has now become the longest running Supreme Court member in the history of the US. And I have a quote by her that was one of my favorites. Um, it's about women working in a male-dominated world. And she says, I always thought that there was nothing an anti-feminist would want more than to have women only in women's organizations, in their own little corner, empathizing with each other and not touching a man's world. If you're going to change things, you have to be with the people who hold the levers. And I completely agree with her. And this came from an interview she did with the New York Times back in 2009. So I think women like Mara Bradwell deserved a lot better. She deserved to practice law under the bar, whether she was married or not. I feel women need to still stick up for themselves and work harder to make it into those high professional levels. But we shouldn't have to because we are women. We are not just, you know, cleaning utensils. We are shining diamonds in the rough. So that was my presentation. I hope you guys liked it. 
And um, yeah, thank you so much.